Welcome to Command Modern Operations. CMO is not combat mission. It is a simulator that focuses very much on larger scale aerial and naval warfare. Ground units are represented, but with a higher level of abstraction than you get in combat mission. So you can't really simulate ground combat very well in CMO, but you can simulate it pretty well in combat mission. And combat mission has a map size limitation. Combat mission maps or combat mission scenarios almost always feature external inputs. So things that cannot be fit on the battlefield itself and are added to it. We have off map artillery support. We have off map air support. We have off map reinforcements. Now, this got me thinking, what if we could use command modern operations to simulate these external inputs and either use the interactions between them in CMO to create scenario uh, design features or to nail them down or in a more multiplayer context if we had a red cell a blue cell and CMO controlled by a white cell CMO doesn't have a multiplayer component then both teams can set their orders up uh, using a map, give it to the white cell, the white cell can set it up and work out what happens in CMO before going to the scenario that they're going to play in combat mission and altering the details of that scenario to cater for the external environment. That sounds a little bit complex, so let's take a closer look. This is just a generic marker that indicates where our combat mission battlefield might be. Over here, we've got a drone. So this is an RQ-7B Shadow, which is an off-map support unit in combat mission. So we have a kind of a choice here that players can make. We can use this RQ-7B in the combat mission scenario, in which case you know we would delete it from here or not use it in CMO. Or we can use it in CMO and not in the combat mission battlefield. And given the way that combat mission simulates drones, it is a little bit, should we say, lower performance and difficult to use compared to what we're seeing currently. Granted, something like combat mission Black Sea is set in 2017 and we're now in 2024. So, you know, We've got to give Battlefront a little bit of leeway there. But now we have an interesting choice for the player to make. Do you want to use your UAV on the battlefield or do you want to use it in depth? In a similar vein, let's say in our combat mission scenario, we have two three gun sections of 155 self propelled guns on core. Well, here they are. Uh, we have some paladins here. Uh, I've even gone in and messed with the ammunition loadout to give each gun the number of rounds it has in combat mission. Which is something else you can do. It's a really powerful editor CMO. Uh, and over here we have the red side. So let's start this up and see what we can do in terms of affecting those inputs. So all this is, is I am so new to CMO, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so we're just going to set up a little mission for the shadow drone here uh, to just orbit around on the other side of the river. So yeah, off it goes uh, and see what it can see. Like that, for example. Uh, so it's not like classified yet, we just know that that's a mobile. Oh, it's some armor. Excellent. Let's turn the time up a little bit. And we've got some generic mechanized infantry. Oh yeah, that's definitely red. We know it's red. And we've got some artillery. So, huh, look, we've got some targets that we can shoot at. Slow the things down again. So we have red's artillery. And we have... Uh, a company plus worth of vehicles on this road. 
So we could say for the red player, uh, they're just waiting there until X o'clock. Uh, at which point they're then going to advance to the battlefield and be the reinforcements. So, from Blue's perspective, we have a choice. Do we want to take one of these uh, gun sections and use it for counter-battery fire? Do we want to use it to break up or destroy elements of this reinforcements group? we got some interesting choices. Uh, for the sake of argument here, uh, let's just shoot everything. Uh, starting with the artillery, obviously. Uh, so yeah, there we go. There's the first salvo going off. So we already have to think about on both sides, bigger picture issues. Where do you want your assembly areas to be? Where do you want to set up your artillery? Everything right now, apart from the drone, is pretty mobile, but we could move it around. We can see we've got the range envelopes uh, for the 155s, and we can see there's... Ah, if we swap over to... Ah, I'm not sure I'm in the editor. Whatever. Yeah, so here we go. Here's some fire coming in. You know, the uh, different artillery systems have different ranges. These are just standard HE shells, not the rocket assisted ones, which have a greater range. And ooh, looks like we hit something. Or not so much. Let's see what the next salvo does. Uh, but you see the point here. There is an issue of integration. Uh, BDA heavy damage. Okay. We've done something at least. Uh, usually like in the editor you can just swap to the other side and see exactly what's going on. So there is an integration issue. Like I say, CMO cannot talk to combat mission and combat mission cannot talk to CMO. So any of this stuff would have to take place. Oh yeah, there goes a, an artillery piece. Everything would have to take place pre or post battle. So we would do this phase uh, with all these shenanigans, with uh, artillery raids and air support, etc and then have to go to the combat mission battle and say okay that battery of uh, 120 mil self propelled guns well that got knocked out by counter battery fire or was d destroyed by blue's artillery so while blue can't use one of its three gun sections uh, in the combat mission battle it's wiped out the enemy artillery uh, this is early days as well. Obviously, there are questions about systems and what uh, units and equipment are available to the player. So, would it's entirely sensible that Red would have a counter battery radar around here somewhere, but is that something the player is going to be able to control, or is it out of their uh, out of their sphere of influence as it were if if they're representing a battalion commander at combat mission and they have x assets assigned to them you know where, where how far up the chain do you go is basically what i'm trying to say uh, and there's other things as well obviously it would be much more sensible if these units were moving because they're under a relatively slow artillery bombardment you would expect them to have gotten out of the way by now uh, and there are other things like air defense there is a pair of tunguskas uh, around here which cannot engage 
the shadow UAV because it's uh, I off the top of my head when I've been trying it it's out of range of the guns and it's also out of range of the missiles on the Tunguska so probably because it's, it's uh, whatever thousand feet uh, and then you know we have EW assets we have things moving around uh, it's a whole nother layer that I think would be really interesting to factor in to combat mission. And yeah, we just nailed the T90 there. And looks like another one's damaged. Uh, this might be maybe too accurate. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, I've got a lot to get used to with CMO, but I think this could be a really really interesting tool for factoring in that bigger picture in combat mission. So I uh, hope you found that interesting, a little bit of a diversion, a little bit of what I'm messing around with behind the scenes, and I'll catch you in the next video.